These Wolverine Claws spark when you strike them against any rough surface. A few years ago I saw a video where the Hacksmith made some electrified Wolverine Claws to put out an impressive amount of sparks, but he had to carry around a big car battery and the claws only worked on metal, plus it was kind of dangerous. And that got me thinking, I wonder if there's a way of creating some Wolverine Claws that can spark on any rough surface and don't require any electricity to run. But to achieve that, I needed some rare metal with some very strange properties. Not adamantium, cerium. It's a rare earth metal that's pyrophoric, which means that it combusts when it's exposed to air. Now, pure cerium is far too soft and reactive to be able to make claws out of, but if we mix some iron in with it, you get this alloy called ferrocerium, which you might recognize from these fire starter kits. It sparks when you strike it, but it's much harder than cerium. You can only really buy ferrocerium as these rods for the fire starters, so I bought three of the largest I could find, so I could cut them into the shape of claws. They only have about 20% iron content, so they should be pretty easy to cut through. Although, it did just occur to me that something that creates 3000 degree sparks when you scratch it might be kind of difficult to saw all the way through. I started off slowly with a little handsaw and quickly realised that the material was a lot harder than I expected and it was giving off this thick brown smoke. And just like those frogs in the rainforest, the coloured smoke lets you know that it's poisonous. Isn't evolution amazing? So I turned on the extractor fan and continued with a larger saw and then I realised that was dumb and I should probably just do it outside. So I set up a big vise and clamped it down and I also put some sunglasses on so I could see through the sparks. And then I had the brilliant idea to spray it with some WD-40 to stop the sparks and it worked for 10 seconds. And then the sparks died up again. Because by this point the rod was so hot that the WD-40 was just cooking off. So I tried some silicon oil instead which has a much higher boiling point. And that worked better. It went about 30 seconds before the sparks started coming back. In the end I gave up on the oil and just let the sparks fly. It took a load more sawing and a load of filing to get it somewhat flat. And at that point I set up my grinding wheel and tried to make it into a rough sort of knife shape. It's not going to be an exact replica of the Wolverine Claws because I didn't want to make them sharp or too thin because ferrocerium is quite a brittle alloy. After four hours of cutting, filing and grinding, I finally had one blade done. I couldn't face another eight hours at that pace for the next two claws, so I bought out the big guns. I was hesitant to use it at the start because I thought it would make too many sparks, but at this point, I don't care. The electric saw made quick work of the second blade, but I still had to shape it using the grinder. Look at the state of this blade. It hasn't broken the teeth off. They've literally welded together because of the heat. So I replaced the blade and got started on the third claw. So now I have all three blades shaped, I can attach them together. I cut some lengths of copper tube, drilled a hole in the end, and then I riveted it to the claw with a guard nail that I cut off and hammered in. But when I was riveting the third claw, I missed a swing and hit the rod and it broke in half. I'd only bought three rods, so I couldn't replace it. So instead I drilled a hole through the core of both pieces. And glued a small metal rod inside to strengthen it. And that worked pretty well. I fitted all three claws onto a bolt and tightened a nut onto each side of them. Wrapping your fingers around the bolt keeps the claws in position while you're using it. I flattened the ends of the copper pipes so it fits in the palm more comfortably. So let's try it out. It sparks on any rough surface, so metal, stone, 
bricks. But it doesn't work on wood because it's too soft. And it wouldn't work on very smooth metal unless you scraped it along an edge. It looks much more impressive in low light, so I tried it out in the evening. As a finishing touch, I sprayed the whole thing silver to cover the black oxide layer that forms over the surface. So there we go, a pretty simple project if you're willing to spend 8 hours grinding some rods. Thanks for watching, bye. Just putting this back. Ugh.